In this video I'm looking at the hotkeys tool. Uh, so I'll show you what I mean by that. So that's under display here now. We've got a, a panel, a hotkeys panel. So this is basically buttons that are alternatives to using the keyboard uh, for applying the, all these different actions. So uh, first row, fairly straightforward. So one, two, three is just um, selecting UV space, edit space, 3D space. Uh, minus plus there just to adjust the brush size which applies to various actions like the G painting and the optimizing uh, various other things like that um, and Z is control Z which is undo so um, so those are those ones so very straightforward these other ones are toggles that you turn on so let's um, say let's have a look at C for cut so I'll just switch to here's our piece of mesh and so I can just select C here. Now the now we're in cutting mode, and so I use the right mouse button now to apply the cutting at that location. So I can either just click an edge, or click and drag, or uh, double click will select a um, entire edge loop up to you know where it sort of diverges. Um, and so that's the same as just using C key or C holding C while you drag the mouse or double clicking C so it's all equivalent to using the the C key on the keyboard but driven from the mouse so while that is highlighted then C cutting on the right mouse button is active so that means if we wanted to we can uh, rotate the view pan the view but if you want to you can't use the right mouse button now to zoom in and out so there's a couple of alternatives there you can either uh, just use the wheel wheel mouse. So here I'm just twirling the the wheel mouse there to zoom in and out. Um, or you, if you don't have a, a wheel on the middle mouse button, or you're using a a tablet or something like that, tablet pen, then left and middle together will zoom. Uh, or you can just minimise the panel, and then that disables the activated hotkey so then I can use the right mouse button to to zoom if I wanted to do it that way there's a little bit more more clicks um, so so that's that's it basically we can, w there's the various buttons for doing things so um, let's say I wanted to just mark out another just a region here uh, I can just select D for drop and just click on that piece of mesh and it'll drop it into UV space if I wanted to use enter instead just to um, well, let's pick a another bit of mesh there yeah. uh, enter here we'll detach it um, and then I can switch to UV space here's my piece of mesh I can use F key here click and hold on the shell to flatten it um, so it's all the same as using the keyboard hotkeys just you've got them listed here you just select the button and then you use the right mouse button to apply that action um, so let's see, we've got another one here G painting so that's to mark um, various bits of mesh there um, and then if you wanted to unpaint that's shift G so there we go, so he's just selecting that modifier on shift there or back to G. So it's just exactly the same as the keyboard, just driven from here. Um, if I wanted to move a shell around, so that's space here. Um, whoops. Because I had the G selected there, then that's moving that. So same with rotate and scale. Um, or if I just want to move a shell so that's again the same as if I'm just holding the space down and moving the using the middle mouse button so but I'm not actually holding the space down I've just got this it toggled here um, if you're not sure of the combinations of space control and shift for moving uh, vertices and things like that we've got these hints here so normally that's that's hidden but you can open that up so here um, if I wanted to just rotate move a piece of geometry then I've clicked that and it's set to space so if I want to move a single vertex then it's set that up to control here so that's 
Again, I'm not actually holding control down, but that's enabled it there. If I wanted to move connected vertices, that's control shift. So here I've done that. Or if I wanted to move vertices using the, the current brush size. So that's how you can set these things up. If you don't remember exactly whether it's control or shift or control, control and shift, you can just click on the button here to set that up. And then, um, you know, I can select F and use the right mouse button to flatten. So that's that's basically it. Is we've got um, the main keyboard hotkeys that you'd use for cut and weld, dropping things, flattening them, welding them back together, um, selecting polygons, etc. So those are the main ones. Uh, as you get uh, more into UV layout, you'd want to definitely check the documentation for all the other hotkeys so this is only sort of the the key ones that we've got here in this this panel so far um, that's the ones you'd use you know 90 percent of the time for your work um, so that's it for the the hotkeys panel